Hey guys, welcome to the Knot of the Week. Today we're going to be continuing our fishing knots with the blood knot. I'll show you how to tie that right now. Okay, so for the blood knot, I'm using two types of paracord here to show the difference in monofilament line that you would use if you were joining monofilament together. So this is typically used to join two similar size types of monofilament together. If you were doing something like fly fishing, I would kind of push you more towards the nail knot, which we will get into later on. So this is how to tie the blood knot. So first off, you're going to start wrapping around one of the pieces of cordage here that simulates monofilament. And I'm gonna to try to do at least five wraps on each side. So there's my fifth wrap. And now what I'm gonna do is just come underneath here and let this kind of be pinched or held um, by the existing line and as well as the secondary line, which is going to now wrap this way. So this is what this looks like at this point. You see the line trapped by the other side here. And I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to wrap five times. And now what you'll do is you'll take this working end and you're going to pass it through that center channel that's created just like this, coming from the opposite direction. So this one will be coming down, whereas this was coming up. And then you'll just kind of start tightening everything together, which you wouldn't have to do as much of if this were monofilament line on a fishing line. Once this is cleaned up, now you have the blood knot. Stay tuned for a new Knot of the Week every Tuesday, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here on our Knot of the Week series, please consider joining the Crew Leader membership linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.